Alrighty, so I'm at my local produce stand right there and uh, I'm just gonna walk through and pick out and show you guys what vegetables I pick out and how I pick them out. Um, but one thing I hear a lot of people say is they have a hard time eating healthy or finding their fruits and vegetables because uh, it just tends to be so expensive to get the good stuff. Um, and what I found is if you look for like a local produce stand or even like a local farmer's market, farmer's market the prices tend to be so much better Better, and they actually uh, sometimes uh, will end up sourcing the foods from more of a local area and actually the more local that your food is that you're eating the more nourishment it will actually give you uh, so yeah I'll walk you through the local produce stand and show you what I pick and uh, here we go so I'm in my local produce stand and my main goal is to search around and walk through this whole place and literally just pick up the things that I uh, maybe know what they are and just know that they tend to hold the most nutrition in the actual foods. Now, if you're a good cook or know how to combine a bunch of different varieties of foods into something delicious, that's even better. I have no idea how to cook, nor do I really cook ever. I literally just grab as much raw foods as possible, throw it in a blender, and uh, there's my first meal for the day. The more variety of the fruits and vegetables, each different fruit and vegetables kind of helps the function and helps heal and regenerate a different part in your body. So I'll definitely try to just look through and find the biggest variety and with the most nutrition. So here I go. First things first, you gotta get the bananas. I actually have these growing in a few different flavors, but they're just not quite ready yet, so we're buying them at the store. We gotta get the honey bells just because these are delicious and I'll eat these any time of the day. So we all know how much nourishment and nutrition that the kale has. Notice how dark of a green the kale is compared to say just some regular green leaf lettuce. It's just not as dark, which uh, it's not always, but usually a sign it just has less nourishment. And I'm not a specialist or a dietitian in any way. So I like to keep it simple, grab the dark food. So there's some kale, and here's actually some flowering kale, which is pretty cool. It just comes in different colors, bring in a more variety. Like I said, the more variety, the better. And some spinach, throw that in there too. You can see there's different colors of the fruits and vegetables, and what I'll look for is I'll look for a nice deep color. So I'll take this purple, what they call red cabbage, and see how it's nice and deep purple, which is usually a sign that it holds a lot of nourishment, um, as opposed to something like this that uh, is very light, may not hold as much nourishment in it. So, oh, grab some Swiss chard. Notice it's got a nice dark color to it, good sign. The celery, I always try to grab the darkest one. Don't know what that is, don't know what that is. Bok choy, I've heard of that, and it's a dark green. I've heard of the bok choy and it's a dark green, so I'll grab that one. And we all know how healthy broccoli is. You notice it's a nice, dark, full green. Grab some of this too. Try not to drop it on the ground. But I'm buying it anyways. So if I get Boom, so then we got some bell peppers. And I like it, more variety of colors. You got your yellow, you got your mix, you got your orange, you got your red, and you gotta get some cucumbers as well. That's the variety we're looking for. All right, I had to put the camera down to get the bag, but you can see, got some nice cucumbers and each one of the different colors of the bell peppers as well. And I don't know what all these are, but I know they're loaded with the nourishment. So the turmeric right here, this right here is the money. So you definitely want to grab as much turmeric, and you notice, you notice if you break it open, it's that dark, nice orange color, which is, like I said, another sign that's going to be great nourishment. So turmeric, definitely got to start there. And here's an example um, that's not always the case. It's celery root is actually a nice light color, but I've heard that it's absolutely loaded with different nourishment and different nutrition as well. So I'll definitely get a celery root. Cannot forget about the beets. Beets are just packed with so many different vitamins and minerals, and they're also a dark, dark purple color. 
dropping another one. So let's get those. Also, ginger is another one that's not necessarily a deep color, but is uh, loaded with great nourishment. So you definitely want to get some ginger, throw that in the smoothie as well. I'm not quite sure what these are. I'm not quite sure what those are. But I'm sure they're packed with nutrients, but you got to be careful because you can't just consume everything at all. Um, so I'm going to skip out on those, but I will grab some ginger. Cannot forget about the avocados. One of the best sources that we can get for the good fats. Great for our smoothies, great for our salads, really anything you can eat. You can throw an avocado in it and it just automatically makes it healthier. Uh, I've heard it called nature's mayonnaise. Just tons of different varieties of different fruits as well. That's gonna go back to your preference or just customizing it to you. Um, I always like to just try some different ones. Like for example, I've never had lemon drop plum so i'm probably going to grab a few of these as well they look pretty good one of my favorite fruits to buy are always pineapples for two reasons one they're absolutely delicious tend to be one of my favorite fruits but number two is you can actually just cut the top off plant it in the ground and it'll regrow you a pineapple mangoes who doesn't love mangoes yeah, mangoes are delicious and nutritious, which is a win-win. And they're actually great in smoothies and great to eat just for a delicious snack. And you got the berries. Berries are also great sources of vitamins, great sources of minerals, and they make the smoothie taste great. So, you definitely wanna grab some strawberries and blueberries. Again, going back to the deep colored blueberries, you know they're that deep, nice purple, loaded with antioxidants. Just great for you. What do you think, bud? You ready for a super smoothie? No, okay. Asparagus too. More nutrients, just randomly throw in that smoothie, boom. This? Oh, for a YouTube video. Yeah, we make YouTube videos too. It's kind of like a video on nutrition and how we eat and what kind of stuff that we eat. Awesome. It's really about like the smoothies that we make specifically. Like we put all the stuff and blend it up in smoothies and we do it every day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. 70 something bucks later. Loaded with vegetables for me and my roommates for the week. And like I said before, a lot of times if you go to just like a regular grocery store, you end up spending almost double really for the same thing. So I got back, here's all the different variety of fruits and vegetables and greens and all different colors that I got. And pretty much I use all this at one time or another to throw in the blender for the smoothie. And even if I'm not trying to make a smoothie, I could again just cut this up raw, put it in a bowl, throw some rice or some quinoa on a good dressing, and then I got a super salad as well. Now it's time to actually make the smoothie. Pretty simple, water first, then put your fruits, then your vegetables up at the top, and that's just gonna get that blended nice and smooth. Got the water in there, but sometimes I'll use almond milk but I actually just forgot it today at the grocery store. So we're just using water, that works fine. And start by putting the blueberries in. And these are always better frozen um, to kind of work as an ice cube. And you're getting all the nourishment from the berries as well. I'm not perfect on this, but what I try to do is definitely more vegetables than fruit. Um, you want it kind of 80% vegetables and only 20% fruit. But it doesn't have to be. If you want a little bit more fruit, throw a little bit more fruit in there. It's no big deal, but you definitely want to make sure the bulk of the smoothie is your vegetables. You got turmeric and ginger. Like I was saying earlier, that dark color is what you want to look for. That means that's a good sign that it's loaded with uh, some good nourishment. Throw some ginger in there too. And beets. Most people don't necessarily like the taste of them. They're not really my favorite either, but with look at how dark that purple is. With the amount of nutrients that are in these things, 
It's definitely worth it. Celery root. Like I said, not all food that's loaded with nutrients have that dark color. There are exceptions, like celery root is a good example. To add a little bit more color, I'll throw some peppers in here as well. Celery. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of the greens. So we have some kale, Swiss chard, bunch of different greens. You got your broccoli, and even some asparagus. That one's for data. Like I said, I packed this thing tight. My goal is always to fit as much nutrition as I possibly can in this blender. So we're gonna blend it up a little bit to get a little bit more room. The cinnamon is a kill two birds with one stone. It's not only really good for you, it helps your metabolism, but it covers the taste of maybe the vegetables that you don't like so much, like the beets. And you could definitely get better peanut butter, but nobody's perfect. So I did get some Skippy. And the peanut butter is also great to just add a, some more good fats in, as well as it just makes it taste delicious. So. And you got that red cabbage. Again, just adding in that more color, more different variety of uh, foods and colors that you're gonna get. It just helps a different system uh, function and heal in your body. Some grass-fed whey protein. Not only gives you just a little extra protein, but actually makes it taste even better. And there's actually a secret ingredient as well. If you don't have the secret ingredient, it's okay, it's not a big deal, but it's always a, bl a, a huge plus or benefit if you are actually growing anything in your backyard because like I said earlier in the video, the closer that that food is actually grown to where you live, the better it is for you and the more nourishment it can actually give you. We're actually growing what is called a miracle tree or a moringa tree, which is supposed to be like pound for pound, one of the most nutritious leaves on this earth. It's got all the calcium, it's even got protein, vitamin A, B, C, D. All I gotta do is just take the leaves and pull. Really can't get more nourishment than that right here. You can't get healthier food. It's grown on the land that I live on as close as it can possibly be to me, loaded with a good source of all the vitamins and minerals you can get, and it's raw pick today that's where the food is actually going to hold the most nourishment because every day or week or month that goes by from the time that you pick that food from the time that you eat it it actually loses nourishment so food is going to have the most nourishment possible when it's actually picked that day and grown like i said as close to where you live as possible also, one of the best things to throw in there as well is an avocado, but avocados aren't quite ready yet, so we're going to have to wait on these. Alright, so I finished the super smoothie, got enough for me and my roommate and probably a few extras. And it doesn't have to be these exact nutrients and these exact fruits and vegetables. Uh, I highly recommend to experiment. Experiment with different fruits, experiment with all different colors, vegetables, and you'll find a concoction that you like the best and that uh, just you feel the best on. And always go for a variety. So don't ever do just the same exact recipe every time. Switch it up. Here you go. Thank you. Here we go.